It's an area in the middle of nowhere where people illegally dump their animals dead or alive. It's called the dog patch. Not in your side's Liz Kotelik shows how people are getting involved. And a warning, the images are graphic. You've seen the disturbing stories. It's nicknamed the dog patch, a rural area south of the airport where you're sure to come across an animal's final resting place. Bones, carcasses, animals abandoned, both dead and alive. A lot of very malnourished um, dogs out there that just need the help and who else is going to do it? So Marjorie and other volunteers with Angels for Animals Tucson report abused and abandoned animals at Dog Patch and also set up feeding stations, filling them with food and water multiple times a week. It was a relatively quiet day last Sunday. The Sunday before, there were dogs everywhere. The nonprofit goes through pounds and pounds of dog food a day. And when KGUN 9 heard about their need for more, we put the call out to our viewers. Not a fender bender on the freeway right now. One morning, getting ready for work, we were watching, uh, watching traffic on KGUN. A new four way stop at Los Reales. And saw Big Al talking about the dog patch. Animal rescues feed and water them daily. I decided we have a lot of dog food here and wanted to donate. Over 800 pounds donated by the Hermitage No Kill Cat Shelter, a car filled. And we all wanted to see where it was going. How did you leave the dog patch feeling? Uh, disgusted. Mostly disgusted with humanity. Pretty sure that this would be a puppy. In between the feeding stations, we have a dead dog needed to be picked up. Are the images and odors? It smells like burning flesh. That stuck the most. What looks like it could be like a shoulder or hip bone. There's a clear sign no dumping. Yet at every stop we took, there were sites like these. They just used an extension cord to to tie around the dog's legs. It's been a problem in Tucson for years, a problem two nonprofits are now coming together to help solve. I know what it's like in animal rescue. None of us have a lot of money or funding. We should all be able to pitch in, whether it's cats or dogs or anything else. We all need to work for the same cause. One cause being to help the dogs that are surviving here, but also to spread awareness for those that did not. Liz Kotelik, KGUN 9, on your side. If you'd like to help, both Hermitage No Kill Cat Shelter and Angels for Animals allow you to give donations directly on their websites, and we have a link to those on KGUN9.com.